Today we're going to be writing an assembly language program that will turn on the LEDs that you see here on the screen. Let's go ahead and look at the code. So the first line is including the PIC file that we need for the PIC 16F690. The second line is the configuration bits. And those are standard configuration bits that we're going to be using for this and more programs. So go ahead and copy those in your source file. And later on I will show you what each, what each of those mean. Line number three, we want to start the program at the zero address. Line number four, that's just a label. And in, uh, and in further tutorials, I will explain what uh, labels are used for. They basically name a part of your program and you can always reference or go back to those using the go to statement and we will see that in other programs. So what do we need to do to turn on the LEDs? The first thing we need to do is we need to enable port C as an output. And to do that, we have to set the trice C register to zero. So if we go to our data sheet for this peak, you're gonna see that we have four banks. So this is my uh, peak 16F690. So we have four banks, bank zero, bank one, bank two, and bank three. And if you notice the try C register for port C is located in bank one. So to, so to select bank one according to the data sheet, we have to set the bits RP1 and RP0 both to zero. I mean, I'm sorry, we have to set the bit RP1 to zero and the bit RP0 to one to select bank one. So to do that in the code, we use the VFC mnemonic. So we're setting the bit RP0 in status setting means giving it the value of one and we have to give a zero to rp1 so to do that we clear rp1 and status that just means that uh, the bits rp0 and rp1 are part of the status register so once again we're setting or giving the value of one to rp0 we are clearing or giving the value of zero to RP1. So now that we have selected bank one, let's give a value to the try C register. And like I said, if you want your port to be output, you have to set the bits tries to zero. So what we're, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the value zero, 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 in other words, eight, zero bits to the W register and then we're gonna move or put the value from W into try C so we're storing these eight bits into try C by first putting them in the W register and then from the W register to the try C register Now that we have selected the direction for the port, let's go ahead and select whether the pins are gonna be on or off. And to do that, we use a port register. And since the LEDs are connected to port C, we have to first go to the bank where port C is located and then give it the values. So let's go back to the data sheet. So notice that port C is in bank zero. That means that my RP1 and RP0 values or bits are gonna be both zero. So that bank zero is selected. 
So I'm clearing both bits, RP0 and RP1. And actually this line is not necessary since up at the top I had already clear RP1. But I'm adding it here just so, under, just so you understand the code a little bit better. But you can comment this out if you like. So we are located right now in bank zero. That means we can use the registers in bank zero. And of course we want to use the port C register. So once again using the uh, register W, we dump this value into port C. And wherever there's a one, that's the light that's going to be turned on and that is why at the beginning of my video I have bit zero or light zero on the second light is off and the third and the fourth light are also on and like I said so first we store this value into W and then from W into port C this go to and the dollar sign the dollar sign just means the current address so go to the current address that just makes the program stay here so you can think of it as an infinite while loop if you were programming it in C and then we end our program and that's all the code we need to turn on LEDs go ahead and modify the these values so you can see different LEDs turning on and off. So I'm going to turn off the LEDs in the middle. And I'm going to upload the program again. So that's the result. Thank you for watching.